when he was like Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 2112 Northeast 51st Avenue here in Portland. We're located in the basement of the home, going through the uh, cast iron stack here and clean out. So it does appear to be four inch cast iron pipe. I'm going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. I'm going to zero out right here. We have water running. Here we go. And here at 25 feet, the line transitions from 4-inch cast iron pipe over to 6-inch terracotta clay pipe. And just beyond this, it uh, looks like we have a root intrusion. And I'll get this mark. Yeah, it's about, it's about 26 feet roughly where the roots are at. Generally, when you get one root in, the, in these terracotta clay pipes, you usually have more, and you have more after it here. Very common issue with these older pipes. They get roots very easily. So far, we have roots in uh, to about 32 feet. More roots here. So far we have roots in basically every single joint in the terracotta clay pipe so far. Uh, but I think so far, if I don't jinx it by saying this, uh, the flow line is still looking good. There was one spot with a little bit of standing water, uh, but for the most part it's draining out uh, properly, which means it hasn't settled and lost slope and grade which opens you up to the option of doing a pipe liner rather than actually trenching all of this up. And it's a, it's, so it's a trenchless repair system. Basically trim the roots out of the pipe and run a, a liner right down it and seal all the old pipe off. And it transitions right here. This looks like we probably just hit the street curb, would be my assumption. And I'll, get, I'll get this all located, but transitions over to 6-inch uh, 3034 PVC pipe here. Alrighty, and right here at 75 feet out, we have reached the main line. I'm going to go to locates real quick just to verify where we're at. Yeah, I did successfully locate the camera head out in the uh, middle of the street on Northeast 51st. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling back here. I'm going to locate and mark the line from the PVC transition all the way back to the cast iron transition as the entire terracotta section of the line is shot. Roots in all but like one joint in the entire terracotta section of the line. I'm going to do my first marking right here at 65 feet, or 66 feet. I'll mark with a, uh, a white X here. I'll do lines in between the two 
ends of the pipe, showing the direction it runs. But I will, uh, I'll do my best to mark the cast iron transition, and I'll mark that with a T. So there will be a white T at the beginning of the repair and X at the end. Yeah, locate the camera head here. We're just past um, the transition from clay to PVC, just to get the camera away from the roots. Uh, but this spot right here, so that was about two and a half feet out into the street. So uh, it would appear that this root intrusion right here is still in the city, is still on the street. So I would contact the city about that. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna park right here and locate this spot again. But I, I think this root intrusion just in front of the camera may still be on the city. Yeah. So I just pulled back here, located right uh, where the this last root intrusion is at, and this is about a foot out into the street. So uh, I would definitely contact the city. Is it? This would appear to be their responsibility still, as the city maintains from curb to curb. This is about a foot into the road. So. They uh, unfortunately looks like they missed a, a joint here when they updated the line. And I'm going to do markings about every 10 feet or so. So I'm going to, and again from this point back, I'm just going to have white lines showing the direction the pipe runs. They're still about seven feet deep here, and we are coming through about halfway through the uh, grass curb strip. Okay, this is right where the uh, there's a whole bunch of sh uh, hedges or shrubs. I'm not sure what they what they are exactly, but a lot of bushes there lining the uh, edge of the front yard, right where it meets the sidewalk. And this is right where the line passes from the sidewalk into the bushes. We're about a foot into them, roughly. Uh, so I wasn't able to get an accurate depth there. Uh, I was I was sort of able to. The bushes are thick enough that I had to hold the, the locator up above them. I was still getting about seven and a half feet. So. Probably safe to say it's, it's going to be about a foot different than that. You know, it's going to be right around six, six and a half feet, I think. Uh, but this is a line, due to the fact that there is basically no standing water in the pipe, I would highly recommend doing a pipe liner on this and, and to avoid tearing up the whole yard, uh, sidewalk, everything like that. You can do a liner on it and save yourself. You just need to trim the roots out first with a hydrojetter. All right, the line is kind of angling. Once, once the uh, just shy of the the street curve, there's a 45 degree turn. It basically heads at a 45 degree angle uh, across the the yard area. So, angling across from from uh, left to right here, we're crossing underneath the uh, concrete walkway right in front of the stairs at the front of the house. I'm getting a depth of around nine to ten feet, uh, which does make sense as the uh, the property's built up quite a bit. I just have a, a small white line there. Alrighty, I uh, just attempted to locate right here. I'm picking the signal up underneath the front stairs, so the line does turn, and it's under the stairs at this point. Um, it's about the second stair up. That's where I'm picking the signal up. So um, from this point, I'm not going to really be able to locate, but I would uh, recommend doing the liner, so that's not a problem, because at this point, the line goes underneath the front porch. It then angles across the, uh, the whole concrete walkway, and then across the sidewalk. It's 7 to 10 feet deep, so 
you're going to save a lot of money doing a liner in this situation. I'd recommend a rescope after the lining is, is done to ensure it was done properly. Um, contact the city about the furthest out root intrusion at 65 feet as that is in the road. We're back here at the cast iron transition, which once again does appear to be under the front porch area, so I'm not going to be able to locate that. Uh, but I recommend updating the line from right here, uh, saying about 24 feet at this point, from 24 feet all the way out to 66 feet uh, to, re to uh, update the entire terracotta portion of the line, as there's root intrusions in about 90 plus percent of the joints. Uh, but yeah, do a liner versus traditional excavation. I have a feeling it's going to save a lot of money in this circumstance.